It's Jay and today I'm here with a review for The Wish Granter by CJ Redwine. This is the second book in the Ravenspire companion novel series. I ended up giving this book a 4.5 out of 5 stars so without further ado let us get started. <sighs> this book follows Thad and Ari who are the bastard children of the king. One day their mother is murdered and the rest of the royal family are mysteriously killed off and Thad finds himself as the new king. Ari has never wanted to be royalty but then she finds herself being trained by Thad to be the next royal ruler when he is gone. Ari soon realizes that Alistair Teague, the local wish granter, is behind the reason why Thad finds himself as the new king. As time goes on, Ari learns the conditions between Alistair and Thad and what this means for both of them and she decides that she's going to free Thad from his contract so with the help of the new weapons master Sebastian, she plans to destroy this contract before Alistair is able to claim Thad's soul. So if you've been on this channel for a while, you know that I am a huge fan of fairy tale retellings. I was a little bit hesitant to pick this one up since I found The Shadow Queen, the first book in this series, to be a very average read for me, but I had never read a Rumpelstiltskin retelling, so I was very intrigued by this one. In my opinion, the writing style of this second novel is a lot better than the Shadow Queen. I think that it flowed a lot nicer and was just a much easier read for me. I think that the plot of this one was a lot more entertaining and engaging in my opinion and I definitely could not put this book down. I was just completely engrossed in this world and the tale of Rumpelstiltskin and I really just wanted to know what Ari was planning in order to defeat Alistair. I personally think that the characters are what shine so bright in this book. I think that each one is so unique and had their own personality and flaws that just made them so relatable. Each character, no matter if they were a main character or a side character, were very well developed and just made the story so much better for me. The story is told from three different perspectives. Ari, Sebastian, and on occasion Teague. I think Ari was definitely my favorite character out of all of them. I just loved how fierce and loyal she was to the people she cared about. She really showed how much she loved not only her family but also her friends. She was just a genuinely caring and nice person which was really nice to see because a lot of characters are very self-absorbed but she was the complete opposite. She was also very resourceful and smart and I loved how she actually turned to other people when she knew she needed help instead of trying to solve everything herself. I also just really loved her friendship with Cleo. It was just so sweet and pure and they were basically like sisters and it was just really nice to see. I also really loved the relationship between Thad and Ari. The sibling relationship in this is just so nice. I honestly wish that I had a sibling relationship like this because me and my brother do not get along very well but these two are just so loving to each other and just so protective and I loved reading about it. I also really love how Ari was described as curvy and she was super proud of that. She never back down from this description of herself. She was just unapologetically herself and it was great to read. I honestly think that this kind of representation is going to help so many girls read about characters that look like them for once who are not ashamed of this. I also just loved how quick-witted and funny Ari was. Whenever somebody would say something rude to her, she would have a comeback right away and it was always just something so relatable. I also really loved the banter between her and Sebastian. Sebastian was also a great character. His development throughout the story and becoming friends with Ari was just so beautiful to watch. It was amazing to see how he went from trusting nobody to slowly trusting her as a friend and it was just really nice to watch him realize that he didn't have to go through things alone. The relationship between the both of them was so slowly developed and 
sweet and I just loved it so much. I think that they are adorable together. I also really enjoyed Teague's perspective and that we got to learn an actual backstory for the villain for once and it was actually really intriguing. He had so much hate for humans but honestly a pretty good reason for why but I really liked learning more about him. I also loved how he was a villain and he didn't have like this huge redemption arc. Like he didn't have any redemption and I love that he was just so evil. It was great. Overall, I think it was a super engaging and entertaining read with an amazing cast of characters, so I highly recommend that you guys check out this fairy tale retelling because it is so worth it. Alright guys, so that was my review for The Wish Granter by CJ Redwine. Definitely, like I said, check it out. It's really good. Let me know down below if you've actually already read it before and what you thought of it, and I will see you all in my next video. Goodbye!